breakfast. My favorite part of the day. Next to lunch. And dinner. And a midnight snack. Here's a new pig food, Will. New pig food? I'm sure your animals will like it. They'll get used to it. But, but, but I like this food. As less fat and it's filled with nutrients. Great, thanks for the delivery. They're going to change my food, Shep. Oh, why, why, why? Maybe you ought to try the new food first. You might like it. Nothing could be as good as this. Been a lot of jumping going on lately. And not show jumping, I mean jumping to conclusions. Especially among some young riders I know. Isn't this land beautiful? I can't imagine there's a better place on the whole wide earth. Oh, Button, look over there. Looks like we're not the only ones who like this place. Come on, let's find the others. Do you see her? Nope, nothing here, but nothing. Nothing? Oh, just look at that view. That's really something. Like no place else. Hey, here I am. Race you to the meadow. I'm the lead chica, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Martin. Those slow folks will never catch us. She calling Slowpoke. Come on, Scarlet. What is that? Why is there a sign out in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. Whoa! What you got there, big guy? It's a survey stake, the kind builders use. Somebody's building something in my meadow? Let's check out that sign over there. Green Glen Wilderness Lodge. What's a wilderness lodge? A bunch of big, ugly buildings, that's what. I don't know. A rustic destination for hikers and fishermen. Sounds like some kind of hotel. Ooh, you think they have shops? Whatever they build, it means goodbye, Meadow. No, this is our Meadow. I don't want to share it with a zillion people. I can't believe this is happening. Hang on, I don't like it either, but we can't jump to conclusions. You know what happens when they start building. Next comes the houses and gas stations and strip malls. Strip mall? Well, that'd be okay. Zoe! Come on now. Maybe it won't be as bad as we think. Maybe... The whole place will be ruined. I guarantee it. We have to stop it. What can we do? People protest and stop stuff all the time. Someone's coming. Let's get out of here. Why? Let's talk to them and find out what they're building. Look at the size of that tractor. That says it all. Come on, boy, let's go. Yeah! I want to find out about the shops. No! Sarah, come on! <sighs> okay. <laughs> That's it. The last of the old stuff. Next time, you get the new food. I must savor every bite. It's my last meal, Shep. Like I said before, Tini, how about tasting the new food before you decide it's no good? 
And like I said, nothing could possibly be as good as this. Whatever we do, it needs to make news. You know, attract the media, TV, newspapers. We'll be on TV? I need to get my hair cut. Boo and Peppers may need braiding. What's all the excitement? You know the Big Meadow? They're building a wilderness lodge, whatever that means. Oh, that doesn't sound good. We're going to organize a protest and stop them from destroying the land. You mean like get a petition going? That's not going to cut it. We need action. Yeah, real action. Like what? We could tie ourselves to the trees. Oh, no, 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 no. Too dirty. It needs to be something bigger. What are you getting at, Bailey? You can't do anything that's against the law. Yeah, I know. But we can do something. Call me later. I have an idea you two can help me with. bulldozing tomorrow, we should be there to let them know we don't like it. I can paint some signs. Yeah, we can get all the Horseland Riders there. Come on, let's get to it. Looks like we made plenty of signs. So, at 11.30, we should all ride over together. Did you call the newspaper? Yep. Where are Chili and Pepper? Maybe Chloe and Zoe went out for an early ride? Aztec's gone too! So they're out with Bailey. Come on, let's catch up with them. isn't even up. Did we have to come this early? Zoe, get down! Huh? <gasps> what exactly are we doing? We have to find some way of slowing them down. Wait! Someone's coming! Hide me, sis. Zoe! Let go of me, will ya? I know those boots. What are you three doing here? We haven't done anything yet. We're just protesting these new buildings, same as you. Doesn't look like it. Our protests are going to be perfectly legal. There's a right way to do this and a wrong way. Only your way doesn't get any results. How would you know? When you've never tried. If you want to protest something, you can't sneak around and... Oh no, that truck! Let's get out of here! Sarah, come on! No, I want to talk to them. Talk to them later. <gasps> They'll think we were trying to damage the tractor. Maybe you're right. Come on!
to the left. The right side is falling apart. Okay, Button. Just take it slow. <gasps> Come on, Sarah. If you stay left, the trail's fine. Scarlet, it's okay. Where's Sarah? I'm here! That guy in the truck almost caught me! What do we do now? I'm afraid I really don't know. I can't stand to think about all those poor animals losing a place to live. I once read about a development that got stuck because the land was home to an endangered species of frog. Too bad we don't have any frogs like that here. Yeah. I guess we better enjoy this place while we can. Huh, Scarlet? What makes you say that? Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Name's Nick. My dad's company's building the lodge. Here. Hey, you Liz. You busy? I could use some help right about now. Hey, Bailey, what you doing? Oh, <laughs> nothing. Just, you know, playing with Lizbeth, my lizard. Come on, Liz, up my arm now. Okay, Liz, let's get you a little disguise. There she is. Hey, who is that cute guy she's with? We were looking all over for you, Sarah. Everybody, this is Nick. These are my friends. Alma, Nani, Chloe, and... The name's Zoe. How do you do? Not bad, thanks. Nick's dad is building the Wilderness Lodge here. I wouldn't count on that. What are you talking about now, Bailey? Come see what I found. That looks like... Well, it's not. I checked in some books. What you're looking at is a genuine pink-spotted southwestern leaping meadow lizard. Wow. Never heard of those. They're very rare. Extremely rare. Practically extinct. There are only a handful in the whole world. And they only live right here, in this meadow. Really? I've called the TV station. They're sending somebody out this afternoon. This is going to be national news. Could I hold it? Well, better be careful. Like I said, it's very rare. I've been studying herpetology in college. Look, we don't care what language you're learning. We just don't want you building here. Chloe, a herpetologist studies amphibians and reptiles, like lizards. Okay, right. I knew that. <laughs> Herpetologist, huh? What do you know? Looks a lot like a gecko I'll have. You have a gecko? Yep. But geckos don't have pink spots, do they? No, sir. Just look at this thing. You can tell it's rare. It's like the Loch Ness Lizard. Bailey, isn't this pink stuff cupcake frosting? And isn't this your lizard, Lizbeth? Well, uh, guess it, uh, could be, or... Bailey, how about I show you the plans for the lodge? It's going to be a sustainable development. 
Nick and his dad have been building these lodges all over the world. Uh, a what? Sustainable development means we try to respect the land and not use up a lot of resources. Oh. They try to have as little impact on the environment as possible. Oh. Everything solar, water, electric. We'll have composting toilets. We build with recycled materials, salvaged wood, and we always use non-toxic paint. Oh. The parking lot will be down at the highway. You'll get here by horse. But there'll still be lots of shops, right? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. It sounds good, but... 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 but you're still going to ruin our meadow. I sure hope not. That's the whole point. To bring people to unspoiled wilderness. The lodge will be over in those trees. And we'll leave the meadow for the deer and other critters. Oh, I see. Um, Nick? Yes, Bailey? This lizard isn't really rare. It's Lisbeth, my pet gecko. And, yeah, it's pink frosting. Uh-huh. I was trying to trick you, and I'm sorry. I should have talked to you before I jumped to a lot of conclusions. I understand that you love this place, Bailey, but shouldn't others get that chance too? To love it and protect it like you do? Yeah. Hello? Oh, yeah. Right, thanks. TV reporter back at the ranch. <laughs> Guess I better go talk to them. Hey, as long as you're going to have all this equipment around, there's one thing you can change here, Nick. What's that? The bend in the horse trail. It's terrible. Dangerous. Really bad. I think we can handle that. Guess this means we cancel our protest. You too? We saw your sign, and we jumped to a lot of conclusions. Wrong conclusions. Did they ever? pink spotted southwestern leaping meadow lizard. It was just a gecko. Who knew? Boy, I really jumped to the wrong conclusions, huh? With the new lodge going in, more people can enjoy this great land, same as I do. Impressive. Way to go. You said it. Good job. All right, Bailey. Go! OK, Teeny, here's that new food, chock full of vitamins and nutrients. It's supposed to be healthier than the old stuff. Not hungry, huh, girl? Okay, you try it when you feel like it. Doesn't smell so bad, but it can't taste as good as the old food. If you don't try it, you'll make the same mistake Bailey and the girls made. You'll be jumping to a conclusion without getting all the facts. You wouldn't want to do that, would you, Teeny? No. No? I wouldn't. And a pig's got to eat. So, what do you think? It's not bad. In fact, it's pretty good. In fact, it's... Mm, scratches! <laughs> now, aren't you glad you didn't jump to conclusions? Think Will would give me some more? Nice 
right, Aztec. Yummy apples. Horseland's got a great crop this year, and you really deserve a reward today. Okay, that's your appetizer. Now let's see how fast you can get us home for the main course. Down, boy. Down. It's okay, little guy. Paws look fine. You'll be okay. Hmm, no collar or tag. <laughs> okay, little guy. Let's get you clean and fed. Then we'll find your owner. <laughs> Cute little guy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> look at that face. Aww. Sweet thing. <laughs> So precious. Can I hold him, please? He'll get you wet. It's okay, he's so cute. Hey, hey what about us? Aww. Will checked all over town and at Dr. Martin's and nobody's reported a lost puppy. Little guy may have been abandoned. It's hard to believe someone could be so cruel and uncaring. Aww, he kissed me. My turn. You know what? I've decided to adopt him. Aww. Really? What are you going to name him? Don't know. Any ideas? With his fur clean and fluffed out, he looks just like a tiny bear cub. He does look like a little cub. That's it. I'm naming him Cubby. Bailey, can I talk to you a minute? Uh, sure. You know how I've always wanted a puppy, but because my dad is the stable manager, I've never been able to get one. I didn't know that. He says one dog at Horseland is enough. Aw, uh, he'll come around. You can help raise Cubby, too. You have to see how he's licking Molly. <sighs> Bailey just doesn't get it. I don't want to help raise his dog. I want my own dog. It's hard not to be a little jealous about Cubby. But when I feel jealous, I try to do other things I like. Yeah, like? Um, well... I know, let's go on a trail ride tomorrow. You can pick the trail. It'll be fun, you'll see. Sure. Adorable! <laughs> oh, Come on, little guy. Let's get you some food. Hey, Shep. Gotta borrow this. Thanks, boy. You can munch on this cubby until we get you some proper puppy kibble. Shep won't mind. You may not mind, but I would. Good thing that was your food he took away. It's okay. I can share. Guess it's time for me to say howdy. Touching noses will give the little guy a proper horseland welcome. How is my cutie pupsy wupsy? Aw, you're such a kissy cubby. Hey, cubby, meet your uncle Shep. Aw, <laughs> oh, baby. Whoa! Oh. You okay, Zoe? Poor cubby. Don't be scared. Shep, you have to be more careful. You frightened cubby and made Zoe fall. Go somewhere else so you won't scare him again. Hey, that's my apple. Go play outside, kid. You can get stepped on around here. And just look at the trouble you got Shep into. I didn't mean to, Mr. Horse. I got scared. He looks so big to me. And I look small? <laughs> Shep. I'm sorry I got you in trouble before. Want to play ball? Sure, we could play for a while. Gosh, Shep, maybe you can teach me some of your awesome tricks. I bet you're super great at sniffing out trails. <gasps> the 
trick is to follow the scent. Keep your nose to the ground, and you'll find your way. <gasps> Thanks, I'll remember that. That's it, kid. I'm pooped. Oh, come on, Chip. We're just getting started. Show me some of your cool moves. Okay, just one. Watch this. <gasps> oh, that's hard on the old spine. Nobody to play with, boy? When Shep was a pup, he wanted to play all the time, too. Come on, I've got a nice bed set up in my room, just like the one Shep had when he was little. A bed inside. Isn't Cubby adorable? He looks just like my plush dog, Sprinkles. Cubby, there you are, boy. Let's show Alma our new trick. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he amazing? He must be the smartest dog ever. Bailey used to tell me I was the smartest dog ever. I wish Cubby was my puppy. Hey, Shep, want to play ball again? No, thanks. Oh, come on. One little game. What part of no don't you understand? No? No about what? Tell me what you mean, Shep. Is this a riddle? <laughs> Leave me alone. Shep, what's gotten into you? That goes for you, too. Fine. Come on, Cubby. Let's play. Who needs the old grump anyway? Looks like you've been bitten by that green-eyed monster called Jealousy. Huh. That much taking the attention from you. Bailey spends all his quality time with him. Oh, you must feel awfully left out. You're right, I do. Bailey doesn't need me anymore. It'd be better for everyone if I just left Horseland. <gasps> Not now, Tinny. Shep, you can't leave. Horseland is your home. Just watch me. E e everyone's just making a fuss over Cubby because he's new. You're the one we depend on. You're our family, Shep. You can't just walk away from us. Please don't leave. <laughs> Tinny. Please, stop crying. Promise you'll stay? I'll promise to give it a try, that's all. But if things don't change, I'm out of here. Oops, sorry, Button. Whoa, is this the girl who's going to take gold in the Olympics? Dressage is about controlled passion, flowing into every single movement. I don't see much passion today. You want passion? Okay, how's this? You knew I wanted a dog and can't have one. Now you have two and I have none. It's so unfair. But wait a minute, Alma. I already told you we could share Cubby. And I already told you that it's not the same. Besides, if you had any sense at all, you'd see what you were doing to Shep. What are you talking about? Look at him. Doesn't look very happy, does he? That's because you have two dogs, and you're only paying attention to one. Me? I don't have any. And I'm so jealous I can't stand it. Alma, we all feel jealous when someone has something we don't. It feels awful, but if we don't deal with our feelings, it feels worse. I was jealous when everyone got a horse before me. But Bailey let me help take care of Aztec, and I felt better. How nice for you. Helping take care of Cubby is the next best thing for you. Here. You don't understand. I don't want the next best thing. We really understand that. Zoe and I never settle for second best. 
We want what we want when we want it and not a moment later. And we hate having to share. Especially with each other. You haven't seen jealousy until you've seen us in action. Wow, you know, we're a lot more alike than we realized. Stick with us, girlfriend. We totally get it. Come on, let's get these horses put away and get out of this place. The mall calls. Shep's hardly touched his food. Do you think he feels okay? How do you think he feels? This little mutt has stolen all his thunder. I didn't mean anything. I'm so happy I have a new home. I just want everyone else to be happy, too. Hmm. Fat chance of that. Are you angry because Alma went with Chloe and Zoe? You bet I am. We were supposed to... What? Am I seeing triple? We bought our new best friend a jacket to go with our new ones. We rock. You're the jealous ones now, huh? Well, don't you like it? I thought we had plans to go on a trail ride. An hour ago? Sorry, I forgot. We were so busy shopping. Sure, forgot. A trail ride is a great idea. Come on, Alma. You and I and Chloe can go. Let's move it, Alma. Your trail ride awaits. Yeah, let's test ride our new look. I can't believe they bought her that jacket. Alma and I saw it in a catalog. I told her I wanted one. Now I'm the one that's jealous. You need to talk to her. You know she's feeling jealous of Bailey. Maybe she's taking it out on you. I can't believe how nice it was for Chloe and Zoe to bring us these wonderful crisp apples and share them with our new friend, Button. <laughs> Knowing Chloe and Zoe, there will be a lot more for us later. They love to spoil us with yummy food. I'd rather be spoiled with affection. Button, I can't believe you can be bought for a bowl of apples. Well, you could share some of your treats. Looks like there's enough to go around. Do I detect a note of jealousy? It hurts when a friend turns her back on you. All we were asking her was to think about sharing, Cubby. But sharing doesn't seem to be an option for her. She's too jealous to realize we're trying to help. This is getting so juicy. The fur's flying now. What do you mean, Angora? The girls don't have any fur. And fur doesn't fly. Feathers do. What I mean is there's been nothing but trouble since you arrived at Horseland. But, but what'd I do? You did plenty. You've hogged all the attention and made everyone jealous. Now everybody's upset. The girls, the horses, me, and just look at poor Shep. Ship. Not needed, not wanted, tossed away like yesterday's news. And it's all your fault. But I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Bye, Teeny. Cubby, where are you going? I'm so sorry, Shep. I'm just trouble for everyone. You can have Bailey all to yourself now. Cubby, wait. Has anyone seen Cubby? We've been looking everywhere. So that's what Shep's trying to tell us. Cubby's lost! We've got to find him before nightfall. Right. There are too many wild animals out there looking for dinner right about now. We heard Cubby's gone! I thought you didn't care since he wasn't yours. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha! 
Ship's picked up Cubby's scent. Chloe and Zoe, you two hang out in case Cubby comes home. If he shows up, give us a call. Alma, you come with Molly and Nani and me. We need more eyes. Come on, Aztec, follow Chef. He'll find Cubby. The wind's whipping up. Storm coming. This is not good. <laughs> Chef, what is it? It's okay, Chef. Show me your paw. You're such a trooper, Chef. Always have been. You're the heart of Horseland. I'm so proud of you. You find that little pup, Chef. If any dog in the world can sniff him out, it's you. lost Cubby's scent. But don't worry, he'll get it again. He always does. <laughs> Put this on, Molly. Thanks, I was freezing. But it's your new jacket. I'm not cold. And anyway, I like my old one better. You can have this one, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> He's got Cubby's scent again. Boy, Shep. Okay, Cubby, watch and learn. Shep was so brave. He was ready to fight that huge mountain lion all by himself. We're so lucky to have him here. He must have been so jealous of all the attention Cubby was getting. But now he knows he's special too. He's really made me think how my own jealousy was getting the better of me. Good. You learned something. I've decided that if I can't get exactly what I want, well, sharing is the next best thing, just like all of you said. <laughs> Whether it's a dog, or a jacket, or a bushel of apples. When I get jealous, I try to remember what I learned in preschool. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Ew, that was so not our motto. Why are we not surprised? An attitude of gratitude. That's what we all need to learn. What nonsense are you spouting now? Well, for example, I'm grateful for my new friend, Cubby. 
And I'm grateful to have my chow. <sighs> Oops. And I'll be grateful if this obnoxious little canine pet will just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> It's important to remember to be thankful for what you have instead of being jealous of what you don't have. If I'd kept on being the way I was, I wouldn't have had anything. See ya!